Libra, this is Nikki. I am coming to bring you guys um, Libras who are dealing with a cancer. I'm breaking this up into three videos, you guys, because I don't want it to be too long, okay, on, on each one of them. You, you guys got to go through. But for Libras who are dealing with a cancer, okay, um, there is some stuff that is going on here, you guys. First, I want to thank my new subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much um, for um, supporting this channel. Um, if you guys have not subscribed, please accept my invitation to subscribe. Um, and this is a bonus. This is a bonus. Um, this is what I do when, uh, my, uh, subscribers give me the most views on the bolos. Okay. So that's what this is. Me digging into the energy that my subscribers has requested me to dig into. Okay. And in this case, I got cancer, I got Aries and I believe I got Gemini. I think that's what it is. So this is going to be a cancer one. Okay. You guys. So if you're new to the channel, welcome and um i hope that you know these are some puzzle pieces that can be put together for you okay um and like i said puzzle pieces take what resonates leave what doesn't okay um yeah cross washer energy can get involved can and will get involved you guys okay so with that being said for every new 100 subscribers someone will get um a free week a free read also, giveaway season is here, okay? Go into the description box, look under number three, and you will see all that is being given away. Winners are announced on the first of every month, okay? So regarding this peaceful, loving, charming, um, coming off kind of sort of innocent a little bit, maybe, maybe reserved, okay? Um, allowing this in particular person, uh, this cancer individual, um that seems to have like a childlike innocence about themselves uh really what's going on with them is they really have uncontrolled emotions okay their emotions are not very well controlled okay they're coming off as if they got some good control over their emotions but they they don't okay and another thing is they're coming off as they're coming off as very um you know you know how some people just want to be like other people Okay. All right. So in this case, you know, it's a situation to whereas, um, your eyes is bigger than your bank account. Okay. Um, it's almost like they want somebody to see them as this individual who got it. Okay. Um, but really to be honest with you, what's happening with this here cancer. Okay. Is they're falling apart and they're falling apart in so many different type of ways. Okay. Um, this mask, first of all, is slipping. Okay. Um, what mask am I talking about? I'm talking about the mask of the put on. Okay. The put on for the damn city. All right. But I am this and I am that. And I want you to see me this way. Um, you know, I got this, you know, this dream, this goal, you know what I'm saying? I want to do this. You know, I'm going to do this. I'm doing this. See all that shit is coming, crashing down for them. Okay. People are starting to see who they really are. Okay. Um, this person comes across as very nurturing, but I'm going to tell you the the, um, the word that just came to my, my head, okay, is covert narcissism, okay? Now, I know y'all know what a narcissist is, but there's different se there's several um, different types, okay? The covert narcissist is the one who acts as if they want to help you, okay? They act, vis act as if, you know, they're happy for you. They act as if, you know... Um, they're on your team. They're on your side. You see what I'm saying? But really all along, okay, what's going on is, is they're either jealous. They don't want um, to see you, um, you know, look, if you're dealing with a dude, if you're dealing with a female, okay, they don't want to see you in a higher, brighter light than themselves, okay, which kind of is kind of crazy, okay, because, you know, if you're dealing with a female and you're a dude, you see what I'm saying? Honestly, um, you know, most females would like to see you in a bigger, brighter light than them, okay? But at the same time, this in this particular case, they don't, okay? It's like a jealousy going on here, okay? But a jealousy for no reason, for real, for real, okay? Because what I see is people working very hard here. I don't see anybody who got dang is like, got it, got it, got it. I see people are, I see people here that are, you know, uh, working, okay? Um, they're working and they're, you know, they want the fruits of their labor, all right? You got somebody here that's going through misfortune and loss, all right? They could have lost a car. They could have lost, you know, um, you know, our relationship. Um, they could have lost, you know, their place to live, um, some money, 
um, you know, loss, okay? Loss, just any kind of loss, okay? And that is what's going on with this here cancer, okay? They are, god dang on, going through a lot of loss and a lot of um, transitioning. When I say transitioning, I'm talking like place to place, right? So they're not stable, okay? Um, and if they are in a place, I see emptiness, okay? Like barely furniture there, okay? Um, you know, if it's in the kitchen, you know, it may be a couple pots and pans, you know what I'm saying? It's not stable, you see what I'm saying? It's more like a, um, surviving, living, living and surviving, okay, is what it is, even though they put on like they got it. You know, this person may got a very nice car and nothing else, okay? It, 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 it just, that's what it feels like, okay? It's like their car is nice. And they may got some clothes, okay, but they didn't got shit else, okay? It's almost like it's, it's for show. You see what I'm saying? Like, they're driving a car, and they want everybody to think that they got it, but the only thing they got is that car. And let me just put quotation marks in there. Now, that's barely, okay? That's barely too, okay? And the reason why that's barely is because, you know, honestly, I don't really feel like, you know, in this energy that it is truly theirs, okay? So when I say that, I mean like car payments or, you know, maybe rentals or something in that degree, okay? But something just enough to make somebody feel like, you know what I'm saying, this person got it. But in actuality, they don't, okay? They're in a five of coins, okay? Which means to me, okay, and this thing means a lot to me, okay? This is not just one thing, okay? Looks to me like they were stable at one particular time, maybe in a different relationship, okay? And uh, so things went on, okay, and they have, uh, you know, they downgraded, okay? They, they, their life was maybe up here, okay? I'm not up here, okay? But maybe up here, and then it just went down, okay? From their own personal decisions, okay? Because, see, this individual knows everything, too, okay? This individual, um, you know, they got all the sense. You see what I'm saying? They, they're good with their mouth. You see what I'm saying? They talk a lot. They talk a good game, okay? But they're a very hard worker, okay, nonetheless. But, however, they're having problems seeing the fruit of their labor, okay? Now, whoever they're dealing with is also a hard worker, okay? And, you know, it's, it's, it's just that type of situation, okay? Now, I do see the lovers here, okay? This is a strong connection. This is a bond. This is... um you know, a divine union, okay, but also, okay, it also is, um, you know, there's temptation here, okay, with this lover's card, okay, I always tell you guys, the lover's card I don't really particularly care for, and it is a good reason why I don't, okay, it's not the four of wands, it's not the two of cups, it is a divine connection, however, okay, and it is a very strong bond, okay, but at the same time, temptation is here, okay, this card is represented by Adam and Eve, okay, Adam and Eve and the serpent, so we all know, like I always say, there's no Adam, there's no Eve without the serpent, all right? So in a lot of cases, when you get this lover's card, okay, this could be a very haunted choice, okay? And and why I re use the word haunted is because, you know, when you fall in love with somebody and somebody got dang on and you got this serious ass connection with somebody and they got dang on choose temptation, you know, Mm, I don't really necessarily feel like, you know, maybe somebody was all the way for sure about this. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost like, you know, um, ignoring their selves pretty much because of the chemistry, because of the bond. OK, not really paying attention to the thing that they they knew to, to be true on the inside. OK, like the red flags, for instance. OK, because what's happened here with this bond is that um, somebody here, and I truly believe it's that cancer, okay, it could be you, I don't know, um, but, uh, you know, they got several different options here, okay? Yeah, they got you, you got them, okay? But they also got several different, there's several different options, and this this card here, and this, this, this here particular deck, it's not about, uh, you know, fucked up options, okay? Um... It's about what what door I want to walk through, okay? You see all them doors, okay? They all red, okay? Now, we could take that as being blocked, okay? We could say that, you know, whatever door they decide to walk through is, you know, going is not going to be prosperous, okay? We could say that, which probably is true, okay? Because they got the five of coins coming out in their first energy, okay? That's misfortune and loss. That's hardship, okay? Hard misfortune, okay? So, yeah, we can say that. But nonetheless, the doors are still here, okay? Which means that they're going through 
uh, one or several of them, okay? And what they're doing as they go through these several of them, okay, is they're looking for new excitement, okay? They're looking for new excitement. Um, these doors is one is thoughts, uh, being in somebody DM, online dating, uh, got dang on, um, what is this? Um, uh, sneaky link, link X third party. Okay. And they walk through them. All right. They're very flirtatious. Okay. Extremely flirtatious. You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling like they just want attention. You see what I'm saying? They just want attention. Like, for some reason, the attention got to be on them, okay? And by all these different people. Like, they're not satisfied with one person giving them attention, okay? At all, okay? So, Holy Spirit, tell me about this misfortune and loss, please. Libra dealing with... <sighs> Y'all... Remember I told you that I did not feel like um, this misfortune and loss was just something that happened. Um, I felt, remember I told you I feel like this misfortune and loss um, came from like maybe a previous situation that they were in and they were like here and then they fell. Okay, well this card right here says the same thing, okay? It was a fall from grace, okay? This mis misfortune and loss. It was a fall from grace, okay? Um, they thought at one particular time with one of these doors, because see, you got to say, just because you got the lover's card and you got this right here, doesn't mean that that hasn't been in their energy, okay? So that energy has always been there, okay? This person just did not just turn into this, okay? They always had these uh, different options, okay? Or, and, and you know, options to me, you know, is like what I can choose. You see what I'm saying? It, it's this goes a little bit deeper because this is not just what I can choose. This is regardless to what I have on the side, I know I can go delge into this toxic ass behavior. Okay. This flirtatious ass immature, um, link up sneaky link, you know, being up in somebody DM ass type of, um, you know, in strip clubs, you know what I'm saying? In, you know, doing shit, you know, drinking, smoking, all this shit with people, you know what I'm saying? That is not conducive to any relationship that calls their self having a lover's card that comes out, okay? This person fell from grace, all right? So, what, where they put on, okay, where this mask is, okay, Libra, is, um, it comes from a previous situation, all right? Maybe the experiences that they've had before, okay? Um, maybe um, people who they look up to, they want to be like, all right? Um, and so they have basically taken on upon their personality, okay? It's almost like, okay, like, like let's just say um, it's three individuals who they admire, right? And maybe it's three individuals who they have experience with, okay? Men don't have a, no long ass term experience with them. Just, you know, just being around them, being in their presence. You know what I'm saying? What they've done is if they, they've adopted some of that person's personality. One of the, th you know, one of each three. Okay. And so instead of them being who they are, what they've done is, is they have um, pretty much copied somebody somebody's style somebody's personality okay so this is the reason why they come off the way that they are but at the same time they don't have really nothing to show for all right now they say they do okay and they talk a good game all right and they make it seem like they this that and third okay but you need to understand they have went through a fall from grace and has led their ass right on in a, a situation of hardship and misfortune okay that's losing money that's losing status, okay? That's leveling down, all right? Um, yeah, and they don't like this, okay? So this person is moody, all right? This person, you know, sometimes, you know, they one way, and then, you know, they go to a whole nother different personality, okay? The reason why is because it's hard to keep up all these fronts, okay? It is. It's, it's very hard to keep up all these fronts, all right? Holy Spirit, give me more about this five of coins, please. And it's fall from grace. Libra dealing with a cancer. They, and I'm going to tell you another thing. A little money that they, um, there we go. Okay. These grand temptations. This is the reason why they fell from grace, y'all. Okay. Because they got too many. See, this person here, this person, 
they they got a wannabe complex so fucking bad, okay, that they don't really have anything to anchor themselves in who they are, okay? So, like, say, for instance, you know what you want. You know what you want to do, right? So that's your why. That's your why to keep going, right? Well, see, this person's why changes up to 20 times a day, okay? Their why, you know, they may have one why one minute and then another why the next minute, and they're sitting up here, god dang, on falling from grace, experiencing misfortune, all because they why is not strong, okay? And they're easily fucking tempted. Not only are they tempted by fuck shit, okay? They're also tempted by women and men, all right? It's just that simple. And then on top of that, they ask la a lot, okay? This is a liar here, all right? And I'm going to tell you another thing here about this little nest egg, okay? That you see is broke? Yeah. That's because they spend their money to put on for everybody, okay? They want somebody to see them as somebody who they're not, okay? So, see, the thing about this lover situation is somebody them bonded and vibed with somebody really well, okay? With this cancer individual, okay? Vice versa, cross watcher, whatever, okay? Um, but see, what's going on though, is that it's like, who are you today? What did I really fall in love with? Who do I really have? Because I'm starting to find out some things about you or things are coming to the light about this situation that doesn't match up with this individual who you claim to be. Okay. It don't match up with this nice ass car. It don't match up with, you know, you say, you know, this person, that person, this person, and you doing this and that and third, it's not matching up. Okay, and so somebody is like, what, 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 what's going on here? Okay, so Holy Spirit, give me, give me more about the temptations. Here we go. Okay, y'all know what that is. That's third party. Okay, yeah. Didn't I tell you? One door is an X. One door is a sneaky link. One door is somebody DM. One door is a thought. And another door is whoever the fuck know. I don't know what. Okay. Shit. Could could be got dang on. Um, to be honest with you. Okay, the way the, these is lining up, shit, they could have a uh be on the down low as well. Okay. Yeah, they could. This is that simple. All right. So, I mean, it is what it is, okay? But yeah, the temptations is the third party. Like I said, they're not interested in having attention from one individual, okay? Now they want to. Okay, I think they really do. But the problem is, is that they so got, they got all these different personalities that they have um, taken on from other people that they really don't know themselves anymore. That's the problem, okay? And they lie and shit. They, you know, I don't know, y'all. This, <sighs> third parties with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn could be involved with a Gemini. That makes them very happy, okay? This is a stable individual. This is a person who um, could be a single mother, could be a single father, could have kids, could just have a baby. Um, but this person works. This person is coming up as the queen of coins. She's stable, okay? I mean, she, it's that simple. She's the most stable is other than the empress, okay? Look, this person brings them happiness. Leo's on the board as well, okay? Um, so there's a lot of passion here, okay? There's a lot of sex here. And there's a lot of memories here. Okay. Tell me about the seven of cups, coins, Holy Spirit. So one person wants to be looked, you know, see, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. So I'm saying person wants to be with the seven of coins here. This person wants to be looked up as somebody. Okay. They want the recognition. All right. They're coming across as a, a lender and not a borrower. You know what I'm saying? You know, they may got some money in their pocket and they flashy with it. And, you know, somebody asks them for something, you know, they ain't got a problem with giving it to them. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what makes them them. You know what I'm saying? But what you can't see, though, all right, with this here moon card is they're not who they say they are. Okay? This is breaking them to do this shit. Okay? It's breaking them to put on for you. It's breaking them to put on for their third party. It's breaking them to be who they are because they still got to spend money on clothes and shoes and you know what I'm saying? All this other shit, nails and, you know, all this other shit. But just to, you know, yeah, see, here we go. This person is moody and cutthroat. But what you also cannot see, okay, well, it's a few things, okay? 
One of them is that they look, they want trophy people. Okay. So if this is a dude, they want a trophy female. If this is a female, they want a trophy dude. Okay. That means that, you know, they want somebody to make them look good. Okay. Either way. But also part of their personality is very cutthroat, very mean, very rash, very brash, very moody. You see what I'm saying? Whereas they acted like they give a fuck, whereas they acted like they were a nurturer, there are some times that they come across very cutthroat, okay? King of Swords is in this energy, okay? However, King of Swords is also a Libra, a Gemini, and an Aquarius, okay? So you can look at it that that with this moon card here, what you cannot see, what's going to be coming to the light, this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius will be finding out something. Give me, Holy Spirit, give me um this King of Swords. Something will be cut out, too, as well, okay? And what I think is going to be cut out is the lies. That's what it feels like. Yeah, because, see, when somebody finds this out, this Libra, this is, okay, this is the Libra, the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Is in a nine of swords, all right? Behind this energy. Now, I'm not going to say that somebody knows, okay, about the situation. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say somebody feels the situation because this is the moon card, okay? Um, and Pis this is a Pisces card. However, the moon rules cancer, okay? Um, and so when we got this card here, yes, there is a lot of, um, you know, illusions, delusions, you know, things that people cannot see. But it also represents things coming to the light. But another thing that it represents, Libra, is it represents intuition, okay? Okay. So listen, somebody here knows something on a on on a set on a on a level here, okay? I'm not gonna say this is gifts. I'm not gonna say this is Claire's. It's just intuition, all right? There's somebody here that got this nagging feeling like some shit just ain't right, okay? This person's coming across as this person that got it all together. They got all these dreams, they got all this ambition, okay? They want to be looked at as you know, a ghetto superstar. They want to be looked at as you know, Mr. PhD, okay? It's on their way, okay? But really, to be honest with you, that's not who they are, okay? It's just not. They talk a good game because they've been around good people, okay? They picked up that. Sh they picked up the language. They picked up the talk. They picked up the walk from the people. Remember, I told you it could be like one, two, three people who they've been around that they admire, okay? Well, see, what you see is those people, okay? You're not really seeing that cancer. You're seeing those people who they, that cancer admires, all right? That is who has been presented to you, okay? But the real deal is, is they have fallen from grace, they need attention from a lot of different people, okay? They are uh, going through misfortune and loss and has went through misfortune and loss. Um, let me see justice on this court, on this thing because honestly, or the will of fortune because I'm going to tell you that this shit is karma, okay? But however, there is a third party situation with either uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, okay? Pisces, uh, like I said, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius could be involved in this as well, Okay. Um, but what's going on here with this, you can't see shit and, but you feel it. Okay. And this, this moodiness, this back and forth, um, as you know, uh, emotion roller coaster. this cancer is, you know, whatever the fuck they doing. Okay. And you know, they want somebody to be seen like something and they definitely want a trophy on their side. It's causing somebody a lot of worry. Okay. It's causing somebody up to be anxious. It's causing somebody uh, communication problems. Okay. It might have even got to the point to where, as you know, even though you say you love me, even though you say, you know, we got this divine connection and you know, you're very flirtatious with me, but it ain't me. You just flirtatious with everybody. Okay. But anyway, back on point, listen, okay. Uh, somebody left on red here. Okay. Somebody not answering the phone here. Okay. Somebody is like taking forever to call somebody back here. Somebody text here and the text messages is, is, is forever, okay? It's come, I mean, it don't take no fucking two hours. Y'all, them fuck ass games folks be playing, I can't with that, okay? All that I'm saying is, is they play them games, all right? The two hour, three hour text ass fucking game people play, okay? Um, so, you know, this is what you're dealing with, all right? It is that simple. Give me more. Yeah, and somebody is hurt. Somebody's tripping in despair. They're desperate. They want to know because they felt like this person loved them, okay? But this person don't love nobody. This person don't even love themselves, okay? This is a toxic-ass individual, all right? This person is on drugs. This person got a drug problem. Somebody do here, okay? I see a lot of pills here, okay? I see a lot of pills. Um, Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of partying, a lot of clubbing, destructive indulgence, okay? 
reckless behavior, reckless imbalance, restraints, okay? So while this person is coming up like this, okay? That's their energy. This is who they really are. See the difference? See the difference? This is the reason why the confusion, okay? This is the reason why... What the fuck is going on with cancer? Okay? Holy Spirit, tell me about it. It's what they do, y'all. It's what they do. It's who they are. There ain't no change in here. They have become a chameleon and adopted other people's personalities because... They didn't see it in themselves. Take it upon all these other people's personalities, the good part of it, okay, the baller that they know, the person that got a lot of money, the person that looked this way, who they adopted their personality and, and tried to, you know, make themselves be that. It's who they are. They're comfortable like that. Yeah. But guess what? They're going to always be a misfortune and a loss because if you don't know who the fuck you is, you're always going to be goddamn... You look, and, they, and they, they do everything they possibly can. They move in the way that they need to so that this will not be amassed, okay? But they're blocked. See, it, it, it all comes crumbling down. That fall from grace right there, that fall from grace is not the first time this shit happened. Guess what? You got the nine of swords in this energy right here. That fall from grace is fixing to happen again. They're going to continue falling from grace. They're going a thousand miles a minute in the wrong ass direction, which is wasting somebody's fucking time and taking somebody fucking for granted, being a fake and a phony, a liar and a cheater. Okay? That's what they're doing. And that is what you cannot see. Give me more information, Holy Spirit. They need to change, they're reluctant to change. They got an attraction for everybody, and then they out, okay? Now, this could be physically out, okay? Or this could be mentally or emotionally out, okay? But they're out nonetheless, okay? This could be somebody who goes somebody, all right? They could sit up here and be acting like we got a lover's bond connection, you know, all that, you know what I'm saying? You know, get to a certain point to where that mask starts slipping off. And all of a sudden, we in the Eight of Cups when the mask slip off. Here we go back to the misfortune and loss. And there we go back to the fall of grace. Fall from grace, okay? It's a ghosting situation. When that mask come off, people don't be wanting to deal with them, okay? Where they go to? They go get their strength back up. They go put on for the city again. They want to be seen as, some, you know, like I said, they want to be seen as damn... And they were looking at hidden towers and shit, y'all. Okay? This shit is about to stop. Okay? what This little game they got going on is fixing to stop. Okay? Somebody's going to bring them down to their knee. They about to hit a tower. And let me tell you something. One thing about this here person, I already told you that I feel covert narcissism here. Um, Listen, one thing about this here tower, this, this tower is not your average tower here. Okay? This tower is a tower that is like for everybody to see. And one thing about a narcissist or a covert narcissist, they do not want people to see their game, okay? They do not want people to see them for who they is. Just in the lights, they're about to get put on blast, y'all. They're about to come crumbling down. And here we go again with this misfortune and loss. Every fucking time they make a move, it's misfortune and loss and falling from grace. Give me this lover's Holy Spirit. Libra dealing with a cancer. Don't make no damn sense. Okay, there we go. We got Queen of Swords here. Okay, that's a Libra. Gemini, um, Aquarius. What is she doing? Yeah, ending this shit. Okay, there you go. Okay, done. When that mask fall off, it's gonna be over with. Okay, that's what I got for you guys. If you are a Libra dealing with a fake, phony ass Cancer, okay, who want to be somebody who they not, and it continuously falls from grace. And this ain't for everybody. It's for people that resonate, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to do Libra dealing with, I think it's Aries next. Okay. I'll see you soon, Libra.